The Queen's Gambit might have not seen this legal move coming. Soviet chess icon Nona Kaprindashvili has sued Netflix for $5 million claiming defamation and false light invasion of privacy. In court documents obtained by E! News, Nona and her attorneys claim that the false statement in question was made by the Queen's Gambit in the season 1 finale. During the Endgame episode, a statement is made that compares Nona's real life accomplishments to that of Anya Taylor-Joy's fictional character Beth Harmon. In the episode, a commentator during the match says, the only unusual thing about her really is her sex, and even that's not unique in Russia. There's Nona Kaprindashvili, but she's the female world champion and has never faced men. In the court documents, Nona's attorneys state that the allegation that she has never faced men is manifestly false as well as being grossly sexist and belittling. By 1968, the year in which this episode is set, she had competed against at least 59 male chess players. Nona's attorneys continued, these facts were well known to Netflix, both from the novel which stated that she had met all these Russian grandmasters many times before and because it had hired two of the world's leading chess authorities as consultants for the series. A spokesperson for Netflix shared in a statement to E! News, quote, Netflix has only the utmost respect for Ms. Gaprindashvili and her illustrious career, but we believe this claim has no merit and will vigorously defend the case. Per the court documents, this situation has been ongoing with Nona's attorneys claiming their client previously confronted Netflix after the series was broadcast, asking for a public statement to include an apology and retraction. Nona's attorneys wrote Netflix has no need to use Kaprindashvili's name and to disparage her achievements for dramatic purposes. The Queen's Gambit, based on Walter Tevis' 1983 novel of the same name, quickly became a hit with critics and fans alike when it premiered on the streaming service in October 2020. However, this current lawsuit comes days before the show could walk away with several Emmys, including Outstanding Limited or Anthology Series. Just last weekend, the show picked up nine awards at the Creative Emmys, and now they're facing an entirely different match. Thanks for watching E! News. Have thoughts on the story? Sound off in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep you up to date with the latest in Celeb News Daily.